one of the biggest barriers with technology in the home is always going to be installation. When we were doing design related work, we looked at all kinds of different things and the technologies that were out there, uh, how easy could they be connected to someone's Wi-Fi? Was Wi-Fi in the home a reliable way to connect the device? Many homes have dead zones for Wi-Fi. Many homes don't even have internet service. So what are the ways that a device is actually gonna be connected? And who is gonna set this up? So COVID really brought this into perspective for all of us. If you need to send out an installer to actually set a system up in someone's home, that isn't going to work because in COVID they couldn't get access to the home. So in ideal situations, even post COVID, you want something or you want a technology that is so easy to use that someone that, whether it's the older adult themselves or the caregiver or someone that has regular access to that individual, they can go through a very, very simple setup experience. And usually my litmus test for that is, can you do this in a couple of minutes or not? Because if you can't, then most likely that's going to be a big, big barrier to adopting technology in the home. Now, the other component of this that we really need to think through a lot more is what are the actual expectations that we're going to be putting on the older adult themselves? And lots of technology has failed because we haven't asked that question of, can we reasonably expect the older adult to open an app every day and use it for certain things um, to maybe sync their blood pressure uh, to it? Can we reasonably expect them to open up and record information uh, about when they took their, their medications? What about as well, uh, even something like, I, I love my Apple smartwatch. I'm wearing it right now, uh, but you know what? Last night, uh, it was at 10% battery and just about dying. So I know that if I gave my 86-year-old father an Apple smartwatch, all the things that it can monitor, that's great, but the minute it needs to be recharged, it becomes a useless piece of technology. So when we start to make requirements on the older adult, now we're moving them out of their routine. Now what we're doing is we're asking them to do something that the minute they don't do it, then we've broken that chain of having reliable information and a full experience for the older adult.